Hi and welcome back. I'm Dr. Sarah Wooten and this is all about cats and this video goes over imprinting in cats and 10 signs that your cat has imprinted on you. Imprinting in cats, what does that mean? Well, imprinting of any animal upon a human generally means bonding. A properly raised cat does not mistake themselves for a human, they don't think that they're a human, but they do come to regard humans, especially one human in particular, usually, as a source of food, shelter, companionship, and safety, e.g. all the good things in life. Imprinting can also be described as a learning period where a cat may pick one other person or one other animal and they develop a very strong bond with that person or animal. It's also called attaching or attachment. And attachments, just like in humans, can be either very secure or insecure. They've actually studied this. In 2019, there was a study published in the Journal of Current Biology and they discovered that cats see their owners as more than just a source of food, but also as sources of security and comfort as well. The research found that cats form attachments with their humans, similar to the bonds that dogs and even babies form with their caregivers. They studied 108 cats. 38 of them were adult cats and 70 of them were kittens. And they put them in a room with their caregiver individually. And then the caregiver would leave after a few minutes and then return and the cat's response to their owner's return was recorded to, de to determine what kind of attachment style this cat had with their owner, either a secure attachment or an insecure attachment. And what they found was that over 60% of the cats were secure in their attachments or their imprinting, trusting that their owners would look after their needs. That's pretty cool. You may not recognize the signs that your cat is attached to or imprinted on you because they sometimes don't look like the signs that a dog would give. And I love it how Jackson Galaxy said, he said, we have to stop looking at cats through dog colored glasses. And we really have to understand what they're trying to communicate through their vocalizations and their body language. So let's talk about 10 different signs that your cat is imprinted on you or attached to you. Number one, when they run up to you when they see you and they act excited when they see you, or maybe they jump on counters or furniture to get closer to you. All signs of a secure attachment. Number two, when they're around you, they utter specific vocalizations, especially purring, trilling, chirping, and little meows that end on an up note. Meow, 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 that kind of stuff. All signs they're attached and happy. Number three, kneading, making biscuits, you know, when the cat is sitting there and they're just kneading away and sometimes they're purring as well, sometimes their eyes are closed. That is a wonderful sign that that cat feels very secure and very comfortable and very imprinted on that person they're doing it with. Number four, head butting. It's also called bunting and that's when they rub their head all over you. Sometimes they'll also do it with their tail and that's because they're actually marking you as their territory. They have scent glands on their cheeks and in their tail base around their tail and they're putting those scents on you to tell other people and animals that you belong to them. If they're really, really into it, they'll rub their entire body alongside of you. Number five, your cat has their tail straight up when they are running up to you, when they're playing with you, when they're hanging out with you. It's not wagging side to side. So dogs, as we know, will always wag, uh, not always wag, but they will wag when they are happy. They'll wag for other reasons too, but that's the one that we most commonly associate with them. Cats are different. <laughs> they wag when they are stressed, uh, very stimulated, um, when they're mad, but you don't actually like that a lot of the time when you're interacting with a cat. But if their tail is straight up, and maybe if it has a little curve in it that they even curve towards you, good sign that that cat is imprinted or attached to you. Next one is licking, licking you. Now, not always, but cats can lick their owners 
in a sign of affection or it's called co-grooming co-grooming you'll see cats doing it to themselves or to other cats all the time and they are grooming each other as a sign of bonding and affection and sometimes they can groom their humans in the same way not always though if the licking is excessive or it's tied to other signs of sickness it could be a problem but a lot of the time they're licking you because they're bonded to you the next one is pretty obvious it's curling up in your lap and purring making biscuits maybe taking a nap just like to have their body next to you that is a comfortable cat and a happy cat and a cat that is bonded to the person that they are trusting to sit in their lap the next thing is direct staring so they d communicate a lot with their eyes and if they are staring directly at you and they're doing long slow blinks this is a cat that is very happy and relaxed and wants to connect with you because they're bonded to you sometimes they can stare at you with a look of expectation sometimes meowing because they want something sometimes they can stare at you in aggression and that is usually accompanied by growling flattened ears aggressive body language sometimes the fur stands up along their back and sometimes they can just look away from you because they're scared so if they are staring directly at you with just really long slow blinks maybe in conjunction with some of the other signs we've already talked to happy and bonded and confident the next thing is the cat lets you do things to them that they don't let anybody else do so this is like the cat that lets you carry them around like a baby upside down uh, with their arms and legs just all floppy and relaxed or maybe they let you carry them on your shoulder or maybe they'll let you trim their nails or look in their mouth or touch their paws or touch different parts of their body that they don't let anybody do that is a sign of bonding and then lastly <laughs> bringing you presents that is a sign that your cat holds you in high esteem so what do I mean by presents well if you have a hunter so they bring you a bit of a mouse or a bird or a lizard that they have hunted and sometimes they'll leave it on the front porch other times they'll leave it on your on your uh, pillow um, gross I get it but you have to think about it in cat language that that cat is sharing something that they hunted with you they're very proud of it and they love you enough to share their stuff so there you have it there those are very easy to spot signs that your cat is bonded to you has a secure attachment with you and is imprinted on you so how many of those signs do you see in your cat or cats go ahead and let me know in the comment section below also if this video has been helpful or if there's things that you'd like me to cover also let me know in the comment section you can also subscribe to this channel and I will be back with more feline health and behavior topics. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.